lights pull up, take off running. That's the fuck. Told mama I ain't with the starving shit no more. You ain't gotta ask me, hell yeah, I'm selling dope. That little nigga around the corner got it full of low. You ain't gotta ask me, hell yeah, I smash your hoe. All around the globe, rock a lot of gold. I call your bitch green like shorty, cut that bitch on go. I call all your niggas pussy, cause I'll y'all some hoe. She looked me up and down and she said, what the fuck are those? Fucked her on the top floor, now she lounging in my row. I can't trust a nigga, cause that's just the way it go. I can't fuck with you, little nigga, I heard that you told. Got a ghetto, East Oakland bitch, I call her Keisha Cole. Long hair, she don't care. Extended clips, hollow tips, fast motor, marijuana odor. High roller, bitch, and say he bipolar. Rich nigga, bad bitches. Can't tell me shit. I don't listen. Money counter, lot of hundred. Me and the blunt bitch just smoked a whole onion. What you doing? Me and my white bitch just smoked a whole zip. Too much ice on me. Damn, I gave the bitch the chills. Found out that he wasn't real. This shit bought me the tears. Found out her booty wasn't real, and I didn't give a damn. What's that on your back, girl? That thing look like a ham. She said she get it from her mama. I said, bitch, you lying. A hundo for my time. They like how I shine. Hey, long hair. She don't care. Extended clips. Hollow tips. Fast motor. Marijuana odor. High roller, bitch, and say he bipolar. Rich nigga. Bad bitch. You can't tell me shit. I don't listen. Money counter. Lot of hundred. Me and the blunt bitch just smoked a whole onion. Tone bite, norm tone bite, norm tone bite. We back, Ratchet Gang. We back with another one. We back with another banger. Get the likes up. Look, you might have forgot. Hell, they might have forgot. But you already know it's the king. Too loyal, norm tone bite, Ratchet TV. Hey, I eat y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Get the likes up if you in the building. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you can get the drop whenever I drop. All right, so boom. Man, 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 man. We got to talk, Ratchet Gang. We got to chop it up. Look, tonight, tonight we got to chop it up about this Diddy case. Once again, we got to get back into it, man. So I don't know, man. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be another loose night. I'm going to be real with y'all. All right, so basically, your boy Diddy, he's getting thrown under the bus by the elites. We all know that right now, allegedly. Uh, uh, allegedly. Now, everything I say is alleged, and it's all under the Fair Use Act, and you can see the Fair Use Disclaimer in the description of this video and in the description of all my videos. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is just to educate my people on what we've been covering over here. Like I said, it's all under the Fair Use Act, and you can see the Fair Use Disclaimer in the description of this video, and everything I say is alleged. Allegedly. Allegedly, y'all. But Diddy found himself in a whole lot of trouble here recently, man. I think we all know that by now. But now he has to give up some ish. And a lot of things that he has on these tapes, allegedly. Allegedly, some of them involve none other than Power Bottom himself. The big Power Bottom himself. Mr. T.D. Jakes, allegedly. So... Diddy and T.D. Jakes got a little, you know, allegedly, 
they've been getting down and we all know that by now he was at the freak offs there's gonna be some footage that comes out and he used td jakes just to get uh back in position but if you think about it and this will all start to make sense Whenever they used to send the industry at someone, they would send the likes of Diddy or Jay-Z to always go to someone's aid. And these were the go-to guys because they were doing favors for the elites. And they were also a part of the elections. If you, I mean, you got to stay woke. I'm not going to get deep into this part. But if you, if you pay attention, Diddy was so against getting trump in and getting you know again he was so against trump being in and he wanted biden in really bad and it, it was a real you got to stay woke they were using diddy now this plays a big part this plays a big part because diddy started going against the grain and started doing it it's just diddy just play he he was playing he playing with his life right now i'm gonna be real with him he playing with his life right now Salute to Sweet D for being a member for seven months. I appreciate you. Blessings, gang. Salute to you. Drop them flowers for Sweet D. Salute, Sweet D. And also salute to Dainty and Pris for that 50-piece McNugget. Get the likes up now. That's how you start a show off with a 50-piece McNugget. Now, that's how you start a Friday night off. You know what I'm talking about? That is how you start a Friday night off. So salute to the gang, whoever pulled up. I appreciate everybody. We finna get into a bunch of videos, and we got some paperwork tonight also on... uh on this case as well so do y'all want this paperwork tonight we got some uh news articles videos we got paperwork we got a whole bunch of ish going on and then i told y'all to i told y'all to stay woke on a, on a certain gym <clears throat> I i'm gonna give y'all a gym before we even get started because i told y'all the other day to stay woke on this gym that i'm giving you right here you know what i'm saying now that's the girl from you know what i'm saying the whoop de whoop you know what i'm saying jay mulan jay mulan jay mulan and she got the and she got the gear on and she got the chain and the she got the gear on i told y'all to stay woke this the one that recruits them all now, she is somebody else you want to pay close attention to. Gerald, I appreciate you for that five piece on Cash App. Salute, salute, salute. We're going to get deep into this. Uh, uh, I, already, I already put some stuff together on that on that one. Now, Jay Mulan, I got something for you. I got something for you. We're going to get to you, Jay Mulan. I'm definitely going to get to you. So, uh, all right, let's see. Where do we want to get started tonight? No, nah, but that's the girl who be recruiting for Diddy. That's the one right there. And then I, I also gave y'all a name last night. If you want to start here, I gave you a name last night. And it says UMG and Lucian Grange blast lawyer for adding them to Diddy S abuse lawsuit. Recklessly false. So now Lucian Grange then popped out, y'all. After we did that live last night, now all of a sudden, Lucian Grange, he, he dropping gems, allegedly. Allegedly. It says the music giant and its CEO have utterly nothing to do with the case against Diddy, their lawyers say. <clears throat> Salute to Carissa for that uh 10 piece. I appreciate you for that 10 piece McNugget. You said uh, the king in the building. Yeah, you already know. Salute, salute. Solution Grange done popped out, y'all. <clears throat> Let's see. Hold on. Let me, let me get this off the shit. All right. All right. So let's get up in here. It says attorneys for Universal Music Group CEO Lucian Grange fired back at a lawsuit that claims he and the label aided and abetted Sean Diddy Combs in his alleged essay uh you know the s abuse they saying saying the accusations are so uh, offensively false that they plan to seek legal penalties against the lawyer who filed them in a motion to dismiss all claims against umg and grange the label's lawyers blasted attorney tyrone blackburn for filing knowingly false allegations of criminal wrongdoing without the slightest factual or legal basis they said they would seek so-called sanctions against him 
in a future filing. So they pissed off about this. A license to practice law is a privilege, wrote Donald uh, Zacharin, a longtime music industry litigator who represents UMG and Grange. Mr. Blackburn's, uh, the plaintiff's lawyer, has uh, misused that license to self-promote uh, gratuitously, fa uh, fa falsely, and recklessly accusing the UMG defendants of criminal behavior. So they pissed off about this. The Wednesday filing in response to a lawsuit in last month uh, by a producer named Rodney Lil Rod Jones, who says the rapper essayed and harassed him. The lawsuit is one of several abuse cases filed against Combs, in addition to an apparent federal criminal investigation that led raids of his homes this week. Combs has strongly denied all allegations of wrongdoing, but the case filed by Jones went far beyond a simple assault claim, arguing that Diddy, Grange, and many others had also violated the racketeer influenced and corrupt Organizations Act, the federal RICO statute that more often is used in criminal cases against mobsters and drug cartels. He also accused various defendants of violating federal S trafficking laws. In Wednesday's filing, UMG's lawyers said those claims were entirely uh, invented by Mr. Blackburn. They're saying this Mr. Blackburn dude is making all this shit up. What y'all think about this? Lucian is scary individual. Salute, Leash. I appreciate that 20 piece. And yes, he is. It says the complaint hurls accusations of criminal racketeering and criminal S trafficking against the UMG defendants, respected individuals, companies having utterly nothing to do with the plaintiff's claims. Zacharin wrote, Wednesday's filings, these accusations are recklessly false, uh, but the fact that they are embodied in a complaint, we, uh, whatever, man, they're saying, in addition to the original allegations, UMG lawyers also sharply criticized Blackburn for filing second updated complaint this week, a filing that they drastically altered the allegations. In this filing, Zacharin uh, called it the worst lawyering he had seen in nearly 50 years as an attorney. Well, so, man, they just basically dissing the hell out of this Mr. Blackburn dude. So basically, they just using this time to just say, man, this dude is not going to have a license no longer. It's like they threatening him, basically telling him, you didn't cross the wrong people. Now you ain't going to have no license no more. So you might as well go ahead and kiss that license. You got goodbye. That's basically what they are telling him right now. <clears throat> and in, 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 uh, it says, in all that time, I have never seen any attorney display anything remotely like the utter indifference shown by Mr. Blackburn towards his obligations. And as an attorney, Zacharin wrote, I have never seen any lawyer in any pleading in any court accuse people and companies of criminal conduct without the slightest basis and then try to file an amended pleading, uh, pleading completely whatever the fuck jettisoning uh every allegation underpinning the original claims and substituting completely different irre irreconcilable uh allegations to support the very same claims in a letter to the judge thursday blackburn responded to the umg motion by calling it public relations stunt that had to be filed uh, in bad faith they they said they did not have any issues marrying themselves to Mr. Combs when it was popular. Now, suddenly, uh, they are treating Mr. Combs like he has a plague, Blackburn wrote in that letter. In a statement to the billboard on Thursday, Blackburn said UMG should pro produce their financial records. Let's see what the money was used for. Stop trying to escape liability. A spokesman for UMG did not immediately return requests for comment on the motion. So what y'all think about that, man? What, what do y'all think about basically these motherfuckers are saying they want them to open up the books, but UMG is saying they finna file a motion because none of this stuff is true. But they just saying, look, we just want the books. What's going on in them books? Open them books up, show what the money was used for. If you ain't got nothing to do with it. And I mean, I think that's fair. They basically, this is basically Blackburn saying, if y'all ain't got nothing to do with it, open the books and let's find out. 
what do y'all think about that in the comment section? That's basically what the, what's going on in, in the court proceedings right now surrounding uh Mr. Combs. Surrounding Mr. Combs. <clears throat> but let's see. Uh, they said law enforcement officers retrieved videos from the property. No details. What was collected in those videos? So basically, they they talking about it's been some talk about what was in these videos. And like I told y'all, I didn't hear TD Jake's name come up. And I'm hearing that they went to this to go hide evidence, not to find it. I think everybody knows what is over here in these recordings. But they they sent these people in there to go discover shit and hide it they didn't want it to come out they're not going to let this be known to the public or what's going on in this investigation and y'all will never know what was on those tapes but i'm telling you td jake's name comes up a lot in these tapes according to the associated press combs is the target of an s trafficking investigation that comes after he was hit with a wave of civil lawsuits alleging sa and trafficking he also learned exclusively that Diddy is currently in Miami. Authorities know where he is and have been in touch with his legal team. Sources said he's trying to avoid the paparazzi and will not be arrested soon. And I'm telling you, he will be arrested. It's just not going to be right now. I know everybody waiting like, when the hell is he going to be arrested? They, they got the tapes and it's not just as simple to say, OK, we got tapes in Miami. We got tapes in uh, Los Angeles. Let's arrest them. They already know he has those allegations and they know that those allegations are true. Now they have to put the rest of the investigation together by piecing together the puzzle in all of these recordings. P. Diddy was completely blindsided. Listen to me. He had no knowledge that there was an investigation on him. He had not. He thought that he was in the clear. After the Cassie situation, he thought he paid. I mean, it was business as usual. You got to think like Diddy real quick. You didn't did this for years and years, and you, this is not like some the, the first time you didn't you didn't allegedly shot in clubs and got away with it. You didn't shot in uh, studios and got away with it. You didn't set allegedly Tupac up in the studio. You didn't set Biggie up. You didn't got away with all this stuff. Kim Porter. You didn't got got away with everything and everything you didn't got away with. And you usually just pay a fee. Remember when you ruined your son football career, Diddy? You remember when you ruined Justin football career? You went over there and, and whoop de whoop and you paid some money and got off on that. You just seemed to never go. You you never go to jail for nothing. And so you thought this was business as usual. You paid 30 M's easy. You thought it went away. Then all these other allegations started coming out. You thought all this was going to go away if you just paid some money, but you were tight. You didn't want to pay nobody in, until you got ready. So everybody just upped the ante on you and sent Homeland Security and the feds to go get them tapes because everybody knows what's on them tapes. So now that everybody knows what's on the tapes, all these celebrities got to protect themselves from you. You're a liability now, Diddy. The whole world knows you're the new Epstein. So guess what? You out of there. So it says Fox 11's crew at the scene learned the home was registered to Bad Boys Films, a division of Bad Boy Entertainment, along with Combs Daughters Investigators, also raided Combs Miami home on Star Island, which he had purchased in 2021. Combs purchased his swanky $40 million Los Angeles estate in 2014, located in the lavish neighborhood of Homely Homes, and uh, the home measures 17,000 square feet and has 3,000 square foot guest house, according to TMZ. The European style villa, villa uh, has a 35 seat theater, a gym, a wine room, and even has an underwater swimming tunnel, an underwater swimming tunnel, which connects to a grotto. The Los Angeles Times reported. The mansion is fairly new, built in 2014. It comes with eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. There is also a separate spa house, which comes with a steam room, massage room, <laughs> Epstein, a beauty salon, TMZ reported. So Diddy been getting loose in this damn house. Diddy been getting real loose in this damn house. Let's just be real, man. Diddy been getting real loose in this damn house 
man 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 did you got underground tunnels swimming tunnels connect into weird shit bro what you got going on in here did you moving like epstein fam so he arrives at a la premiere in 2018 combs lawyer said tuesday that he searched uh, the searches of his los angeles and miami properties by federal authorities in a s trafficking investigation where a gross uh, use of military level force and combs is innocent and he will continue to fight to clear his name and it says federal investigators are seeking telecommunication records involving sean diddy combs as part of an investigation into an alleged s trafficking a source close to the investigation told the times salute to jess b it says time to pay the piper diddy i think the feds came in to take the uh any ammunition he could use it to fight or blackmail anyone else now it's his turn to take that take that salute for that 20 piece i appreciate you i appreciate you and you're right <clears throat> it's time for him to take that take that take that but they saying that they trying to get telecommunication records involving him they fixing to go get everything they need against him they know all the numbers they see the text messages all the evidence is right there they just got a good all they needed was the what did i tell y'all they needed audio and video that's all they needed they needed audio and video they went in there with devices in their hands knowing they was in there looking for other devices. They didn't go in there really. I mean, they was looking for guns. Trust me, they were looking for guns and drugs, but they were really specifically sent there for audio and video. Everything Diddy has. They they got his ass wrapped like a tortilla right now. They got Diddy wrapped up like a tortilla. <clears throat> so it says again, federal investigators are seeking telecommunication records involving Sean Diddy Combs as part of an investigation into alleged s trafficking a source close to the investigation told the times the news comes several days after the department of homeland security served search warrants at combs los angeles and miami estates the hip-hop mogul has denied any wrongdoing in the sweeping investigation which includes multiple lawsuits in recent months alleging sa and harassment the source who spoke on a condition of uh, anatomy because they were not authorized to speak publicly said investigators also have requested flight records linked to combs hmm. so there's some alleged anonymous source they want to re remain anonymous because they said they not authorized to speak publicly to anybody but this is a source very close to the investigation allegedly and they are saying that they are requesting telecommunication and flight records for sean diddy combs what do y'all think about that shit tell me what y'all think about that man because this is starting to get a little spooky for for, for uh p diddy uh, this is starting to get a little bit spooky for P. Diddy at this point, man. They 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 about to go get them phone records and they about to go get them flight logs. And you know who flight logs they treating this dude like Epstein. I'm telling you, they treating Diddy like Epstein. They about to Epstein this dude. They going to get the flight records. Just, man, they want what they wanted from Epstein. They wanted flight logs. They want flight logs from Diddy. They want this telecommunication. They finna figure out everything Diddy got on everybody. Are you keep on with all this black okay watch they sent them people there to get them wires out them out, out the uh ground that wasn't no damn uh comcast or spectrum whatever it was that wasn't spectrum over there at, at diddy house ain't no way in hell spectrum was over there looking at no damn cable they was over there getting them wires but uh let's see the source who spoke on condition oh they said uh they want to remain anonymous they said the investigators have also requested flight records linked to combs the musical artist remains in the u.s according to sources with knowledge of the situation who said combs was scheduled on monday to depart by plane for a spring break vacation with his high school age daughters but delayed the trip after learning of the searches he still has his passport they added he was spotted playing golf with two of his daughters at a driving range in the Miami area Thursday night, according to reports by Daily Mail. But Homeland Security agents on Monday stopped the plane on, on the ground at an uh, executive airport in Miami 
and Miami-Dade police officers who accompanied them arrested Brendan Paul, a man Combs, a man in Combs' entourage. Authorities say they found cocaine and marijuana-laced candy in his bag. Paul, 25, was described in a recent lawsuit, lawsuit against Combs as a, a basically he's basically a damn drug mule, a <laughs> drug mule. They said companies doing business with Combs Empire also being issued uh, subpoenas, <clears throat> as reported by TMZ, including a private charter jet firm and phone provider uh, and computer company. So everybody getting subpoenaed. On Monday, federal agents seized several electronic devices, including cell phones, according to a source familiar with the investigation. They also disabled Combs' security system at his Homely Hills mansion and seized the hard drive, a source told the Times. But much remains unknown about the case and how close authorities are to determining whether to file criminal charges. Sources with knowledge of the operation who requested to be anonymous, y'all, they don't want to be, they, they, hell no. They said they are not authorized to discuss this publicly. They said it appears that investigators are searching Combs, Homely Hills home, emptied safes, dismantled electronics, and left papers uh, all over the damn rooms. And they said that tracks without uh, that tracks with what some legal experts say investigators would need if trying to build an S trafficking case against Combs. And they're saying, uh, Dimitri Gorin, a former LA County S crimes prosecutor who is now in private law practice, said investigators would likely seek authorization to search for videos or photographs of any devices connected to the target anywhere where digital images can be found in connection to S conduct that would have been recorded. No one has been arrested in, connect in connection with the investigation, although two of Combs' sons were briefly detained on, Homely Hills, on the Homely Hills property. The investigation into Combs is being directed by federal prosecutors with the Southern District of New York. It comes after four women filed civil lawsuits accusing Combs of the R-word, assault and other abuses dating back three decades one uh, one allegation involves a minor a source familiar with homeland security criminal inquiry said investigators have interviewed some of the people tied to the s trafficking allegations in the lawsuits against combs homeland security investigates most s trafficking operations for the federal government legal experts say one possibility why the agency could be involved in this case is because the women involved in the allegations against Combs could be from other countries. Man, this is getting wicked, y'all. They have, in the Combs case, convinced one or more uh, federal magistrates that they have enough probable cause for one or more search warrants, said Megan Blanco, a defense attorney who has handled S trafficking cases. Given the scope of the investigation, it seems they are further along. They're further along than most investigations. So they saying that this might not be that long before they get ready to wrap this up and, and uh, arrest him. I would say within the next two to three months, Diddy will be arrested. But uh, it says <clears throat> Goren said the allegations involving a minor could be a key focus in the inquiry. If a minor is moved across state lines. For the purpose of S, that is enough for at least an argument of S trafficking because somebody underage cannot consent, Gorin said. S trafficking for adults usually involves some sort of coercion or other restraints, he said, and can be tougher to prove. Prosecutors would need to show a person encouraged somebody to engage in S activity for money or some other uh, inducement. They said Aaron Dyer, one of Combs' lawyers on Tuesday, called the raids a witch hunt and criticized how they were conducted. There was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences, uh, Dyer said in a statement. Man, this shit is good. I don't know, y'all, man. I don't. Diddy, you, <laughs> you fucked up, Diddy. They said this ambush paired with an uh, advanced coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on 
meritless, uh, meritless accusations uh, made in a made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. So they saying, man, y'all got us fucked up. Y'all got us fucked up right now. New York Governor Kathy appeared to leave. Oh, uh, hold on, that's something. That, okay, nah, that's a whole nother article. All right, but yeah, so basically, man, as y'all see, this investigation is about to take a wicked turn because if they charge Diddy with that minor, Diddy, life as you know it is over. They that's probably what's holding this whole investigation up. They they about to. They about to hit you with that 17 year old or or whatever, Diddy. I don't know what you got going on, fam. You got so much going on. Diddy home raids exposed jaw dropping bank loans. While Diddy's net worth is set at one billion, the recent information in his bank loans has raised eyebrows. On Friday, Daily Mail reported that the music executive had taken out bank loans worth $140 million to buy the extravagant mansions in Miami and Los Angeles, which were raided by the home security, Homeland Security earlier this week in connection with an alleged S-trafficking ring. They further claimed that, that it may be the largest home loan amount ever taken out by a Hollywood actor. According to the reports, Diddy still owes $100 million, all of which must be repaid within the next five years, with the exception of $23 million, uh, a $23 million loan that must be paid by 2029. The updates come after TMZ reported on Monday that federal agents raided the rapper's home uh, with helicopters above the property. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigators, HSI New York, executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners, we will provide further information as it becomes available, a Homeland Security investigator representative told people in a statement. Uh, they said a video obtained by Fox shows Diddy's sons, Justin and uh, Justin being uh, standing in handcuffs, whoop de whoop de whoop But yeah, man, so Diddy, you taking out loans right now? Diddy, I don't know what you got going on. But it's looking real bad for you, dog. You taking out you taking out loans and everything right now, man. Hold on, Diddy. They didn't open up your bank accounts. Diddy and Young Miami tried to recruit Krishan Rock for S work. Carissa Safford alleges. Bad A woman. That's your 20th super on the live stream. Y'all throw up the big 20 for her, man. Salute to you. She says, Ratchet, I think some of the evidence HSI went to retrieve could be a matter of national of national security i believe you on that uh ba woman can't say your name because you, you're cussing in your name but salute to you i appreciate you i appreciate you so it's saying right here that diddy and young miami tried to recruit krishan y'all they then tried to recruit krishan rock allegedly y'all allegedly Earlier this week, shocking new details of rodney lil rod jones lawsuit against diddy became public including allegations that he was paying various women for S work on a monthly basis. Young Miami, Jade, and more were named in the lawsuit. The mother of 50 Cent's son, sire, Daphne Joy, was even accused, uh, though she's since denied, ever being employed as an S worker. It says, according to Blueface's mother, Carissa Safford, uh, however, the Bad Boy Records founder, the, ba the Bad Boy Records founder, hold on, let me get back out here. I fucked up. Uh, and City Girls MC were allegedly trying to expand their empire during a recent chat with fans on Instagram Live. She accused the duo of trying to recruit uh, Krishan Rock to participate in S work, recalling some of the incidents that made her suspicious. So, man, so she's saying, she's saying this shit is loose, y'all. Let's let's look at this shit. Hold on, thugs. Let me play this shit. My, my shit freeze. They was trying to recruit um Krishan. That, that's what that's what Diddy and uh what's the, what's the girl Krishit Krish Karisha was trying to recruit Rock. Remember that when they was heavily trying to get Rock to hang out with them? I think they was trying to recruit her. She got a lot going on. We're gonna talk about it on this podcast and we're gonna get to the nitty-gritty of all the gritty of the nitty. Cause this it, 
it's necessary. I think them mother was trying to recruit her. Cause hey, remember they just had her pulling up to everything. She thought she talking about do you love her? Mm -hmm. story yeah, story. remember? See what I'm saying? Oh, we don't, we don't, this podcast gonna be because y'all know the mama know everything, everybody business. So we gonna find out on this podcast. We ain't gonna talk no shit about nobody. We ain't gonna mock nobody, but we definitely gonna explore the possibilities that was going on. Cause they kept calling her. Remember, pull up to the birthday party. Come over here and dance on Carisha. Remember that? I yeah. feel like they was trying to recruit that baby. Man, man, man. So they say they was over there trying to recruit Krishan Rock, y'all. They was over there trying to recruit, uh, recruit Krishan Rock. Carisha was trying to recruit Rock. Remember that? Safford begins <clears throat> in a clip from the live where she's heavily trying to get Rock to hang out with them. I think they was trying to recruit her. She's got a lot going on. We're going to talk about this on the podcast because this is necessary. I think them mother effers was trying to recruit her. They kept calling her. Remember, pull up to my birthday party. Come over here and dance on Carisha. Remember that? I feel like they was trying to recruit that baby. Safford continued vowing to get to the bottom of the situation. Diddy and Young Miami have yet to respond to her allegations. They have, however, previously denied the accusations listed in Lil, Lil Rod's lawsuit. Krishan Rock has also yet to comment on the claims. What do you think of Blueface's mother's accus uh, accusing Diddy and Young Miami of trying to recruit Krishan Rock for S work? Do you think she crossed the line? What do what y'all think, man? Do y'all think that there's some? Do y'all think that there's something to that? Could they been have been possibly trying to recruit Krishan? I don't know. Y'all tell me in the chat, man. That's just what's and, and as y'all see, some sources close to these situations, they speaking and they telling you what, what's about to happen in these cases. They telling you that Diddy is about to get all of those records. They about to come for all them records, Diddy. They about to come for all them records, Diddy, and, and they about to track down your whole entourage. And I'm telling you, Jay Mulan is one of them ones that's going to end up going down. Just, just pay attention to Jay Mulan. Uh, here we go. It says, Prince JDC, happy Father's Day. Pops, God bless me with the best father ever. Thank you. And then if you look in the comment section, you could kind of see, you could kind of see who was in there? I already showed you. She got the gear on. <clears throat> I seen. I, I got her wearing bad boy gear. The the bad boy baseball caps. The bad boy uh, chains. So she right there in the comment section saying adorable. Jay Mulan used to be a regular model in the city. Then randomly seemed to blow up. I don't deal with that part of the Houston entertainment scene because I figured they were all. Essing and effing, and I ain't about that, but probably worth looking into. I checked Lipstick Alley and Insta, a lot of comments on there when you search her. Uh, keep doing an awesome job, Ratchet, but salute. Keep me anonymous. Always, it says peep the chain. I know that dude personally, but he's pretty square. But remember, those court documents said they wear official bad boy uh, gear, and it says that necklace looks pretty official. So again, the lady is a, a part of Diddy's entourage. I got that lady being a part of Diddy's entourage. So, I mean, it is what it is, Diddy. She gonna go down with your ass. She was She was also one of the ladies who was recruiting for him, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. But we finna continue, y'all. We gotta get to some videos. And uh, it's, it, I don't know, man. What, what y'all think, man? We gotta get to TD Jakes. We got we got a lot to talk about tonight, gang. Hold on, let me get to my video section. Hold on, let me get to. My, okay, speaking of Jay Mulan, here we go right here. Here here we go right here. All right, so check this out. Hold on, check this out, gang. Let's go ahead and let's just start right here. Since we already talking about it, we could just start right here. We could just start right here. So as you see right here, look at your girl Jay Mulan. And peep the chain. She got the she got the bad boy oh, chain. He loud as hell. Let me turn this down. This dude, because their quality is horrible. She's supposed to be bad boy, but let's keep it a Now, what I want to know is, what do you see in Mona Leo that made you want to work with her? She's a star. She's our modern day uh, brandy to me because she's so versatile. 
And that's one of, you know what I'm saying, Diddy recruiters. This is one of Diddy recruiters. He sent out to the club to go whoop de whoop de whoop. This was his head chick that used to recruit the girls for him. You know what I'm saying? Jay Mulan. Y'all pay very close attention to Jay Mulan. Y'all pay very close attention to that lady right there. I'm keeping it a big buck. Let's pay close attention to Jay Mulan. They got some shitty quality over here, but you know what I'm saying? I just want y'all to, I just want to throw that bug in y'all ear. Jay Mulan. That's somebody to pay attention to in the Diddy case. Jay Mulan. Do your research on her. You'll see that she was one of the, uh, she was recruiting heavy for Diddy in the, in the club scene. But let's get back. Let's get back to this. I got to be careful with this next clip because, you know what I'm saying, you know, fair use goes into effect. But I definitely uh, got to be careful with the next clip. So I'm, I'm going to be pausing it. It's only a minute and 30 seconds, but, you know. I'll be pausing it, you know, every couple of seconds. So just stay with me. Just listen to this shit, though. It's some good information in here. In 2020, Diddy went on a media tour for Biden. Now, I told y'all about this. I told y'all about him going on there. He was going strong for him. Pay attention to this. White men like Trump need to be banished. That way of thinking. Now, remember, I told y'all he started doing a whole bunch. What is Diddy? Just do do your job, Diddy. Just do your job. It's real dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, this man literally um, threatened the lives of us and our families. Just keep in mind what Diddy's saying and listen to this is way bigger than just what it is. They, To be honest with y'all, they don't really care about the S allegations, but they ain't got no choice right now. Diddy is making it real hard. He fucking up a lot of people money. He just keep messing up the money about going to vote. When you look at it, we don't have no choice. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can say what you want about Biden. I, I, I can't say I love the pick either. Like I said, he keeps on, what is Diddy doing right now? Nobody wants to hear Diddy talk like this. Just party, Diddy. That's all they wanted you to do is recruit and party. But hey, we got to get him in office mm -hmm. and then we got to hold him accountable. Dem <sighs> Keep it above. Democrats use Diddy's charisma, star power, and street cred in the black community every single election. They used Diddy every election. What did I tell y'all? Every time something was going on, they threw Diddy in the mix. Every time something was going on with the artist, send Diddy. Let Diddy call him. Diddy, Diddy. They, but they always use Diddy around election time. Always. He's a puppet. He was in the back pocket of the powerful, and that made him powerful with a free pass. He endorsed the Democrats, politicked for them, and... Man, man, man. He endorsed them, politicked for them. Got souls to the polls, as they say. Got souls to the polls. You sold out, Diddy. You sold out, and now it's time to pay the piper, man. It's time to pay the piper, Diddy. But there was more to it than that. He was a political enforcer. All of the usual suspects, the handlers, Dave Chappelle, Meek Mills, Diddy, why would he throw Meek Mill in there and Meek Mill ain't did shit? But you know why? Because Meek Mill was smashing Diddy. Meek was over there getting clapped by Diddy. Why would he Why would he name Meek Mill? Meek Mill ain't no powerful figure. You, well, we didn't think he was, but now we all see why Meek still got money. Why he's still staying afloat. Handlers, Dave Chappelle, Meek Mills, Diddy. Uh, all these people aren't in position. Now, for us as celebrities, they got to call and put a leash on them. What we Man, man, man. Don't do it yet. Diddy, give him a call. Tell him, tell him we ain't like the t-shirt. Tell him like right now on the agenda. See, they call Diddy. You got to get Diddy on the phone. Diddy call. Diddy would, they use Diddy. Is, this is, this is the voting agenda for the celebrities for the black. Make them do exactly what LeBron would do. Diddy. Oh, you see? And with LeBron, there ain't no party like a Diddy party, man. Ain't no party quite like a Diddy party. See, LeBron been sold out. He sold out when he's like 18. He's a young dude. Brian been getting down. I don't know if y'all, uh, that. hey, look, I fuck with King James, you know what I'm saying? But hey, he definitely, the more I learned about him more in his career, that L.A. move was for a reason. Oh, Brian getting loose. Brian is getting loose on some Dwight Howard shit. Knows the celebrity agenda for voting, especially for black celebrities. Allegedly, allegedly. It's Democrat. What did he get in exchange for all of this political influence? According to the bombshell lawsuit filed by his former producer, Rodney Lil Rod Jones. Lil Rod is sparking up a lot of interest. Diddy was allowed to wreak havoc. 
Diddy was allowed to wreak havoc around the world. They paint Diddy out to be a monster right now, gang. They are painting Diddy out to be a monster. Make sure y'all smash that like button, man. Make sure everybody in this building smashes that like button. How the hell are we not at a thousand likes right now? We ain't even, come on, man. I need, we need like, come on, 400 likes right now. I, I know we got 3.3 in the room. Come on, y'all. Everybody smash that like button. We finna get back to this show. But y'all smash that like button. So what y'all think about that demonstration right there of how they use Diddy every year, every year, every year they use Diddy. And they continue to use them. So let, let, now listen to this. Now pay attention to this story right here, y'all. I want y'all to listen to this story. Listen to Machine Gun Kelly talk about Diddy. Listen to this. Left to go be a good, like, friend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hit Puff so crazy on the text message. Like, ooh. He hit me the next morning. I was like, come to my house. Say what? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was also, you know, I'm like, I was drunk, you know? <laughs> Diddy hit you upset, come to my house, and you was drunk. You woke up out your sleep. Let's talk, MGK. Hey, guys, see, I go, I go, uh, oh, I, I, I get to wake up to, like, come to my house. I'm like, dang. God, he got a new house, too, so I, you know, whatever, so he's texting that. He got a new house, he texting you to low. I roll up there. <laughs> roll up there. He comes out, like, robe and everything. So Diddy came out, robe and everything. Diddy hit you up and said, come to my house. Come on, we all know what Diddy means when he texts you late night saying, come to my house. We know now. We ain't got to even speculate. Everybody in the room know what time it is. When Diddy texts you at 3 in the morning and say, come over, you finna get fucked. Like, hey, let's just call it what it is. Diddy finna clap something. <laughs> Diddy is finna, he finna make you twerk. Diddy is going to make you twerk. So Diddy hit you up late night, said, come through, and he popped out with a robe on. He comes out, like, robe and everything. We go... What? Comes out, like, robe and everything. We all had a long night. We yeah. all had a long yeah, night. Yeah. No, we all had a long night, though. Hey, no, nah, this was a long night. So why would, if we had a long night, brother, we could see each other tomorrow. If we just had a long night, the last thing I want to do is pull back up on you, brother. Ain't no man in this room worth pulling back up on. I'm going to be real. Once I get to the crib, that's it. I'm not coming back to your house. Like, what, what, what do we need to do? I'm not going to play 2K. Or nothing. I got it online. You know, we could, I could get on my headset. You know, <laughs> I could hop on the PS5 and get on my headset. I don't need to come to your crib for that. You know, I could smoke by myself. We could, you know, we could smoke on the game. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to pull up on you for that. You know, that's weird. But I, that's kind of, we just seen each other anyway. I'm drunk. Well, I don't want to even kick it with you. We just saw each other. I'm trying to go home, eat some Jack in the Box tacos and crash. I don't be real. I'm trying to get to the crib, or get, get to Jack in the Box on my way to the crib, smash about eight tacos and crash out. What are you talking about? He's like, no one's ever talked to me like that before. <laughs> He was like, no one's like, no one's ever talked to me like that before. What the fuck y'all had going on that night? <laughs> Yeah, man, I was dead. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know, Machine Gun. I think Diddy smashed you, dog. I'm going to be real. Now it makes sense why you moving the way you moving and grooving the way you grooving. Diddy didn't got to your little ass, man. That's what it is. Diddy didn't turn them out. Now he punk rock. Diddy didn't turn that man all the way out. He didn't turn that man all the way out. Let's look at another one of Diddy friends. Let's pay attention to another one of, of the Diddler's friends. We're just going to start calling him the Diddler. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. Ask her she wants me to start the car up for her, get it warm. There goes good old Ellen, y'all. There goes good old Ellen. Ellen. Epstein Island Ellen, allegedly. <laughs> Ellen, were you surprised by the allegations about P. Diddy? Did that surprise you about P. Diddy? He's been on your show many times. Have you been to his parties? So tell me about your birthday party. Tell her about your birthday party, Diddy. Am I invited? Yes. Yes, you're definitely invited. I invite you to all my parties. You just haven't seen the show up. To no, well, there. Is it on the East Coast? 
What's going on here with Diddy and Ellen, y'all? Because we all know Ellen know she knows the play. Yes. Well, that's why. Why don't you have one here on the West Coast? Because I work all the time. Okay. Well, maybe I have one at your house. Where's that? <laughs> man, man, man. What he did that you? What is going to be a pizza party? <laughs> you know, she like pizza parties. Let's keep it a book. Mm-hmm. And then it will carry on there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I mean the, the after party. Mm -hmm. No, I know about them. Um... Uh, she said, I know about them. He said, the after party. She's like, oh, no, I know about them. Yeah, you know, it's loose. I'll listen to the music. Um... <laughs> So, Ellen, what you got going on? Man, 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 man. I don't know, Ellen. I know you know a lot of shit, though, Ellen. Let's keep that a buck. I know you know a lot. <clears throat> All right, so let's continue. Let's continue to get back into this Diddy talk, y'all. Make sure y'all smash that like button as you enter the live. And if you're new to the channel, Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Come on, all the new people in the building, subscribe to the channel. This is the dopest channel on YouTube, man. Keep it a buck. I don't know if you guys seen the footage on TMZ, but it's all around. You can find it on YouTube, anywhere. It showed how they raided, how they raided inside P. Diddy's home. It's got wires, just destroyed everything. Let me tell you why. Because they have footage and they have evidence on this man. They have footage and they have evidence on man. Did he out of there, y'all? This man swings that way. And he liked to watch and see certain things you wouldn't believe. If 20 guys, 15 guys, and one girl. Oh, this man is really like that. He really swings like that. There's footage of how they destroyed his homes inside the home. And I don't know if y'all seen that footage, but they tore his damn home up looking for them damn devices. Like I told y'all, man, they, they are going in this. They want recordings, audio, video, and now they want... They, they, Diddy, the shit that they about to put on you when this investigation wraps up, because they they're not going to arrest all the rest of the elites with you. I hope you know that when you go down, they're going to delete all that other footage and you ain't going to have access to it. If you were a smart man, you would have backed up everything and you would have a fighting chance to blackmail somebody. If that, I mean, because that's your, I, I don't condone blackmailing. I'm just saying that's what you be doing. So maybe that would have been your way out of it. But now it's looking like you got no escape. I don't want to put it on my platform because it has the TMZ watermark on it and I don't want to utilize that. But they have the footage of how they raided it. They have something on him. And that's why they're destroying him and raiding him the way they are doing it. And that mule guy that they arrested, they could utilize him. To and they, they definitely going to try to flip him. And Do y'all believe Paul flipped already? Do y'all believe they've already flipped Paul and I don't mean flip like Diddy be flipping his ass. I'm talking about has he flipped? Is he snitching? Do y'all feel like Paul is in there snitching? Has he been, has he flipped yet? Let me know if Paul has flipped. Track to track more things on P. Diddy. That could be their main star witness to lead them into more things. And I'm going to say this again. When they look as they're going through all the footage and things from you, you are going, there's going to be celebrities and certain people involved that you ain't going to be, to be able to understand on belief, man. What do y'all think, man? I'm going to ask y'all a question in the chat. Well, did he go down alone or will he go down with company? These celebs, these high powers, these motherfuckers with money, they got nothing better to do. And you're not going to believe the things and the wicked things and the evils the way they do. God, judgment is upon this earth. This is real. So what do y'all think, man? I just gave y'all an option in the chat. I asked y'all a question. Uh, well, did he go down alone? Yes, he's going down solo or no, the elite's time is up. Do y'all feel like all will be exposed here pretty soon? 
Or do y'all feel like, nah, bro, Diddy is just it's just him. He going down. His empire is about to come crashing down. It's not everybody else's empire. It's strictly Diddy. Strictly Diddy. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Hold on, gang. We not done. We are not done. Hold on. We got a, We still got videos, man. All right. So let's continue. Let, now let's get to TD Jakes. Let's get to TD Jakes real quick. Let's get to TD Jakes. This is what happens when you love money more than God. World-renowned Dallas pastor TD Jakes is named in a federal lawsuit against musician Sean Diddy Cohn. Now, TD Jakes' name also is in is in paperwork. Saint alleged his name is in the paperwork. So you cannot say nothing. I I told y'all this day was coming. I've been told y'all with it, and they always in my comment section. You need to leave TD Jakes alone. He ain't got nothing to do. Then why is his name coming up in paperwork? He ain't, that's your pastor. What is he doing over there? Doing whoop dee? Look at all the stuff Diddy got going on. What is your pastor doing over there? His name is in the paperwork. I got the paperwork. His name is in it. Why is his name come up in Diddy's paperwork? And that's not allegedly. It's in the paperwork. Drop the gems if y'all remember me showing y'all his name is in the paperwork. You might think I'm capping, so drop the caps if you think I'm lying. Or drop the eyeballs if you're like, hey, I ain't seen it, but I, I believe you, Ratchet. Let's go. It's all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The all T.D. Jakes, anybody. They all can get it right now. They all can get it. Every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent. <sighs> and this dude right here, this big ass dude, right? Salute King Monte for being a member for five months. Drop them flowers for uh King Monte salute it says power bottom going down too yeah his big power bottom ass is going down the the big alleged power bottom sincerely from my heart I don't what's true if everything was true all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart the worst that could happen if it, if, if everything was true all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart I don't think so right after Prince Harry we see the name of Bishop T.D. Jakes, who is one of the celebrities in this lawsuit being filed against D.D. And the allegations are outrageous. Filed by a producer that worked with Combs. It discusses how the singer planned to leverage his relationship with the bishop to soften the impact on his public image of Casey Ventura's lawsuit. <sighs> Do y'all hear that? Are y'all listening to this shit? Why is T.D. Jake's name coming up in this shit? Listen to this, y'all. I'm not making this up. Sincerely from my heart. I don't think so. Right after Prince Harry, we see the name of Bishop T.D. Jakes, who is one of the celebrities in this lawsuit being filed against D.D. And the allegations are outrageous. Filed by a producer that worked with Combs, it discusses how the singer planned to leverage his relationship with the bishop to soften the impact on his public image of Casey Ventura's lawsuit. So he was using T.D. Jakes just like he used him in the Kim Porter situation. Every time Diddy's guilty of something, he uses T.D. Jakes to soften the blow. T.D. name came up in the damn paperwork, man. You can't make this up, T.D. Jakes. You in Diddy's, you're in the lawsuit. You're in the paperwork, brother. He even, know, he the, the little Rod dude even knew about you. That's how deep you is into it, uh, T.D. You're going to be exposed in real time. Your downfall we going to all be here for it, T.D. Jackson. I can't wait. We throwing a parade in Dallas when, when your ass go to jail. As a Christian, your name does not belong in that group. As a Christian, not even your picture should be taken with that person in any kind of friendly setting whatsoever. Thank you. Okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. To you, we love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> To you, we love you, man. Happy birthday. Have you ever been swallowed? I would. I would. I would.
Lord. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 6. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. People who don't like money don't like resources because everything that's ever going to come to you is going to come to a person. You hear him? Now he, he talking about the love of money. He goes against everything that he shouldn't. He goes all he always going against the grain. Just like when you talk about the whoop I'm not going to talk about no communities, but when he talks about them, maybe his opinion shouldn't be the same as everybody else's. I'm just saying he's supposed to be somebody. I'm just saying, man, I'm not going to get into the talk, but TD, we've already exposed your ass over here. We didn't already exposed you to me. We didn't did a whole surviving TD Jake series on you. As a matter of fact, y'all can still check it out. So Sur surviving TD Jakes. Now listen to this. I want y'all to pay attention, man. The, the industry is slightly talking about Diddy. They slightly talking about this. Slightly. Listen to Mayno about the Diddy accusations. These people making these accusations. You got some dude named Lil Rod. First of all, now they talking about Lil Rod. Now this, I got, I got to keep pausing it and talking about it, y'all. I got to keep pausing it. So you know what I'm saying? We we gonna have to uh, chop it up about this. They go Lil Rod. Oh, that's oh, that producer. It should be a f pause on his name. Like, <laughs> nigga named Lil Rod. Like, what? Yeah, okay. Dude's name is Lil Rod. He said, no man's name should be Lil Rod. That's pause. Do you think it's like a. No Diddy. That's no Diddy. Uh, agenda to destroy popular. This is what I'm black. saying. And if you know anything about. Now they're talking about destroying destroying us they, they're they trying to say these people are, are trying to destroy us you know the 60s and i hate to get all like this but if you know anything about the 60s and what they did with black leadership and all that and i think we all know what they did to us at one point you know what i'm saying but is this the same thing is this diddy situation the same thing these were some of the tactics right to destroy you basically they, they divide and conquer My J right J is this the same thing? Are they dividing and conquering? Do you feel like there's is this a setup on Diddy to to ruin him as a as a African American male? J. Edgar Hoover. There you go. Yep. Right. So Cointel Pro, what they would do was they, they they would put out misinformation. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just I'm just listening to his logic on this situation. Have us looking at each other. Right, they sending out letters and sending out things saying, you know, this one talking about that one, this one talking about that one. Sending just, just say what you're saying, Mayno. Just say exactly what you're saying, brother. This one got caught doing this, right? Mm -hmm. And it keeps us disorganized, right? And and also propaganda. I feel like. You protecting somebody, bro. What you got going on, Mayno? Was you was you at one of them Diddy parties? Which is fed few through the media. It's a tool that's always been used. Media controls this the mind. This is what I'm saying. Salute, uh, VR Plug. That's my boy. Salute. He said, Treyway. Salute to you, gang. I appreciate you for that uh, five piece. Salute, VR Plug. Saying, so I'm not quick to jump at what everybody else is running running towards. Like, because if you ask the average person, it's like, what what you think he did? He's like, I, I don't know. He did. See, I think you was at one of them parties, man. No, you in New York too. You probably didn't party with Diddy. I'm pretty sure he got something on you. Something. I, I, don't, I don't know. Like he, you know what I mean? He, he, he was sex trafficking. Oh, all right. What's sex? Like, I, they got to give me a clear definition. Now, they, now you need a definition. See, that's like when R. Kelly said, "By teenage, I mean you mean what? Why you need a clear definition, bro? We know what it is, man. Definition of what sex trafficking is. So you saying he was what? He was making people sell their body? Like I don't, I don't understand. Is it under eight? Like it, it's not clear to me. Come on, man. Me. Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not jumping in that. He said he is not jumping in there. He is not jumping in that shit. He ain't jumping in that mix. Uh uh. Y'all don't know what y'all got going on, but I ain't jumping in that pool. I ain't got nothing to say about Diddy. I think he's scared, man. He must got they got something on his ass. I got something deep for y'all later, but I'm a, I'm gonna save that one. I got something deep for y'all later. Let's let's play something real quick. Let's play something real quick. Let's go, gang. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it up. This is Sean Combs, a.k.a. Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, or just Diddy. 
The big time 90s rapper is under the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. As part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. Salute Grumpy, I appreciate that fire piece. Salute. Yeah, you're right, gang. You're right. The feds don't go if they don't know. Diddy's properties were raided by armed federal agents in March 2024. Now, Diddy's not been formally charged or arrested, and we don't know what the raids will lead to. Nobody knows what these raids will lead to, but we do know something is brewing, and Diddy will allegedly be arrested very soon. But here's what we do know about the raids and the lawsuits that led up to it. Allegations against the rapper began to pile up in 2023 with his ex-partner and R&B singer, Cassie, a.k.a. Cassandra Ventura. And that's where all it all has went bad for Diddy. Ever since this. You see, ever since you didn't pay her what she was trying to get from you, you was being stingy with the money and you made her go public. And I think that you got off on her going public. But I don't think you... I don't think you quite understood what her going public meant for you, Diddy. That started a Me Too movement against you. Now everybody know you're going to pay. You wasn't willing to take that to trial. So everybody else who you did something to was like, well, shit, if he ain't taking that one to trial, I got, I know I got my evidence on it. Well, shit, Me Too. It's a whole Me Too movement going on, Diddy. Filing a lawsuit on November 16th, alleging she was trafficked, sexually assaulted, and beaten throughout the course of their relationship. The case was settled a day after the lawsuit was filed, but it prompted multiple other people to come forward with similar claims of alleged misconduct from Combs. Do y'all believe Cassie's lawsuit? Drop the gems if y'all feel like Cassie was telling 100% of the truth. Drop the caps if y'all feel like Ca Cassie was on that whole capping. Let me know if y'all uh, agree with Cassie or, or not. Let me know in the chat. Combs was hit with another lawsuit on November 23 of 2023 with Joy Dickerson Neal alleging she was drugged and sexually assaulted by Coombs while attending college in 1991. Then, on the 26th of February, 2024, in New York, Diddy's producer, Rodney Little Rod Jones, alleged the media mogul and his associates subjected him to unwanted sexual advances and forced so there you go. And that's when Lil Rod comes into the mix. Salute to Crystal Cove, says all these dudes who are still defending the Deviant, their defense translates, uh, I'm in at least two video weirdos. I agree. I think they all in some videos, Crystal. I'm going to be real with you. I think they all in some damn videos. Post him into relations with hired sex workers. And salute on, salute on that honey bun. Thank you for that honey bun. Thank you. King for Coombs between September of 2022 and November of 2023. Little Rod also alleged that Diddy regularly hosted, quote, sex trafficking parties with underage women. And that's the part right there that I think the feds and the Homeland Security, that's what they're trying. I think that he has some young girls across. Uh, he didn't flew them across state lines and allegedly could be someone in another country as well or some ones in another country. Allegedly, there, there's some there's going to be some minors in the mix of this. They said dudes don't truly understand how the feds move. Ninety nine percent witnesses are enough. They are gathering them. Only perfect defense can prevail. Salute for that five piece, Grumpy. And Sydney, I appreciate you for that two piece. Salute. And that's your first super on the live stream. Salute. Salute. One month after Little Rod's lawsuit, the feds made their move. Two homes owned by rapper P. Diddy in the United States have been raided as part of an investigation into sex trafficking. Federal law enforcement agents with guns drawn have been seen swarming the star's Los Angeles and Miami houses. This shit getting it. This is gonna get out of control pretty soon, y'all. Just wait. Molly Hogan is in LA. Federal agents as that raid took place. Law enforcement. One was brought by his former partner and R&B singer Cassie, but was later settled for an undisclosed amount. It triggered others to come forward with accusations. A lawyer who represents Cassie and an anonymous accuser welcomed news of the raid. So as you see right there, man, it's 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 gonna be over. It's gonna be over for Diddy. Obtained this exclusive video of the raid. And I don't want to play TMZ shit because you know they put their watermark on that shit. But yeah, that's basically what sparked up all this. Cassie, she sparked up every bit of this damn raid. She sparked up every bit of it. Salute for that three piece. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. Cassie is 
what sparked uh all this shit just to be just to keep it a buck she sparked every bit of this now we got some new paperwork that then dropped we got some new paperwork that then dropped here y'all so prior cashman llp and this is uh as you see third good marshal united states courthouse uh dear judge we are counsel defendants umg recordings and it says uh they talking about lucian grange in this and remember i told y'all this earlier so they didn't already file they shit mr blackburn complains about umg defendants uh waiver of service progress and it says filing rule motion to dismiss all claims against the asserted and plaintiff amended complaint dated march 2nd 2024 have a filed complaint making baseless accusations of criminal behavior against against umg defendants on february 6 2024 over a month ago mr blackburn made no effort to serve process uh it appears that mr blackburn believes that unjustly accusing defendants should be power powerless respond to such a plea the umg defendants were absolutely entitled to waive service of process under fed or whatever whatever instead of allowing mr blackburn to endlessly file unauthorized pleadings in his uh game of pleading whack a mole perhaps he believes that he can make outrageously false accusations and uh, pleading never to serve them, uh, uh, let that marinate in the press for a month, then completely abandon them, file equally false and legally basis, baseless claims based on completely different accusations, and there is no harm, no foul. There is there is harm and there is foul, and that is what UMG defendant's motion addresses, effectively uh, admitting that the FAC he uh signed and filed against the umg defendants they saying is uh fabricated allegations which we pointed out to him in a letter dated back in march 4th 2024 mr blackburn protested he filed uh the second amended complaint and that he suggests cures his plaintiff's prior uh pleading uh, mr blackburn seeks shelter under and they've given the filing number and it says the, the he argues that the so-called sac renders the umg defendants motion to dismiss plaintiff's amended complaint a bad faith filing mr blackburn is wrong for multiple reasons they are trying to get this shit i told you lucian grange ain't to be fucked with lucian grange is pissed off right now and he want his name off this paperwork that's all he want he want his name off this damn paperwork they say he mischaracterizes the umg defendants and they said this letter is being sent to you in advance basically uh they say the second mr blackburn mischaracterized our rule based on demand is seeking only withdrawal of certain false and frivolous allegations without withdrawing all allegations and claims against the umg defendants that is too in uh incorrect we expressly stated that in march 4th our march 4th letter you can avoid rule 11 motion only by withdrawing the complaint or immediately amending it or remove all allegations as claims against our clients that it has not been that has not been done we will serve and file our rule 11 motion in due course they said mr blackburn every one of the fac's foundation uh foundational allegations against the umg defendants uh improp improperly filed twice now without leave they said without leave of this court and without bothering to identify the changes he has made to the fac the fac included the completely unfounded allegations that plaintiff supposedly personally saw sir lucian charles grange attend combs alleged s trafficking parties and also saw ethiopia have to marry him there Motown Records is supposedly liable under the doctrine uh, respondent superior as the parent company of co-defendant Love Records, which is Combs record label, UMG recordings, and Motown Records supposedly funded Combs' alleged S-trafficking parties with bags of cash. Every one of these foundational allegations for the claims against UMG defendants have been wiped from the sac along with one of the claims asserted against motown records for california premises liability 
But while busy accusing the UMG defendants of bad faith and filing the motion to dismiss, which would uh, which would seem to be textbook example for the psychological diagnosis of projection, nowhere does he offer an explanation for the provenance for the provenance uh, of these allegations to begin with. Indeed. Uh, his attempt to justify the new general partnership allegations and uh, an allegation directly refuted by both Miss Haptomerium and her counsel. And uh, they contradicted paragraph 1611 license agreement attached to exhibit A, the declaration of Miss Braith, what is that, Braithwaite, filed a supportive UMG defendant's motion to dismiss itself confirms that the parent company allegations was completely made up by Mr. Blackburn. They said Lucian Grange has never been to any of Mr. Combs' homes. The plaintiff uh, FAC personally saw, they said that he said he saw him uh, at, at one of these damn events, but he said, Lucian said he ain't never been to Diddy Crib. He said he ain't never been to Diddy House ever. So what y'all think about that? He's saying he ain't never been to the man house. Do y'all feel like Lucian Grange has been to Diddy's crib? They said into Mr. Cohn's room for, they said, hold on, it says right here, further, since Sir Lucian Grange has never seen any of Mr. Cohn's homes, the plaintiff, FAC, personally saw Sir Lucian Grange disappear with Mr. Combs into Mr. Combs' room for hours can only be either a delusion or a lie, since the exact same allegations is made in the FAC as Miss Haptomerium was also never at any of uh, Mr. Combs' homes, after plaintiff was supposedly hired by Mr. Combs, it seems fairly clear that it was no de delusion, but it was a lie. Mr. Blackburn has simply swapped out the original baseless foundation for the RICO and S trafficking claims against the UMG defendants for a new baseless foundations, invoking only loosely worded press reports about Motown Records partnering with Combs, then newly formed Love Records to distribute a single album. The unauthorized SAC in, in, uh, invents a non-existent general business partnership between Motown and Love Records as, an, as new uh, for the plaintiff's liability theories as mishap to Miriam declaration in support of the UMG defendants. Motion shows Mr. Blackburn's assertion that he supports his allegations is untrue. Mr. Blackburn pretends that he was somehow authorized to file the SAC to address our demands uh, and the UMG defendants are barred from filing any rule 11 motions as to the FAC. Mr. Blackburn failed either to obtain the UMG defendants written or any consent or leave of the court prior to the filing of in violation of rule 15A2. The UMG defendants uh, properly moved against the FAC as I indicated above, we will shortly be serving our Rule 11 motion on Mr. Blackburn, and assuming he does not drop all claims against our clients, we will be filing it with the court in accordance with Rule 11. We regret burdening the court further, but we believe that the court is entitled to the facts, respectively submitted prior Cashman LLP. As y'all see right there, Lucian Grange people didn't... They didn't stepped in here and they they didn't file they shit. Now they like hold on, dog. They, we here goes Exhibit A, and they, they give up the uh, March fourth uh, email that they sent out to them, basically telling them they didn't want to be involved in this shit. And they 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 I don't know. They trying to get off this damn lawsuit. So what do y'all think about Universal Music Group, Lucian Grange, and them trying to get off this damn lawsuit? ASAP. They trying to get the fuck off here. I'm talking about they trying to get off this damn lawsuit ASAP. Keep that a big buck, man. I don't know, man. Diddy, seem like you running out of time, man. Everybody trying to separate themselves from Diddy. He ain't got no more partners. It's starting to be over for him, man. It's starting to be over for him. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. This It's just starting to get a little... It's starting to get spooky, man, because I think they finna try to knock Diddy off. That's just what I think is coming next. I think they finna attempt to go ahead and knock Diddy off, man. And it's getting to that point where Diddy is just he didn't ruin too much, man. He didn't he didn't already messed up the money with the Diego deal. He didn't already turned on uh he didn't already turned on Clive Davis. 
So, I mean, it's the beginning of the end for that man. There ain't really much more he got left to hang on to at this point, man. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm talking about, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to keep it a big buck. But I don't know. What y'all think, man? What y'all think about this Diddy situation, man? It's starting to get a little bit loose. It's starting to get a little bit loose and alleged, man. It's paperwork dropping. And I don't know, man. So let's see. Let's see what this one is right here. All right, hold on. Let's get to this one. Let's get to this one. And here goes another letter to the judge. Dear judge, as you know, uh, this firm represents the plaintiff Rodney Jones, plaintiff in the above reference case. Salute to Lady Du Jour for that five piece. I appreciate you. This letter addresses the notice from the clerk of this uh, court regarding the second amended complaint filed by the defendants dated March 28, 2024, as I indicated in my letter dated March 23rd, 2024. And uh, March 27, 2024, the second amended complaint was filed in response to Rule 11 letter dated March 4th, 2024, pursuant to the 21st day safe harbor, 21 day safe harbor rule. Plaintiff has 21 days to withdraw or amend it uh, or amend the allegedly uh, pleading. Uh, plaintiff amended the allegedly. Def, uh, whatever pleading on March 25th, 2024, on the 21st day of the 21 day safe harbor window. On March 26, 2024, the clerk issued a refiling notice due to an error in the second amended pleadings hearing. Pleadings hearing. On March 27, 2024, plaintiff corrected the document and refiled it. The clerk has issued a notice stating that the court needs to provide leave to amend. Plaintiff respectfully requests to leave to amend as the amendment is being made pursuant to the 21 safe, 21 safe harbor rule of what plaintiff viewed as a demand to amend or withdraw federal rule of civil procedure provides that a party may amend a pleading once as a matter of course within 21 days of receiving a responsive pleading under rule 12b. Fed or whatever, whatever. 21 days have passed since the filing of the pleading. A party may amend the pleading only with the opposing party's written consent or the court's leave. The court should freely give leave when justice so requires. Defendants have indicated that they have no intentions of giving plaintiff consent to amend the pleading, even though they sent the threat of sanctions letter demanding that the complaint be withdrawn or amended. As plaintiff sees no reason to withdraw the complaint against defendants UMG, Motown, or Lucian Grange, plaintiff has opted to amend the pleading. It is clear from the second amended plea pleading that defendants either negligently or intentionally funded the activities of defendant Sean Combs. Before filing his pleading, plaintiff only had the word of Mr. Combs, the evidence in the possession, and his personal experience living with Mr. Combs from September 2022 to November 2023. Ms. Hap to Merriam's declaration provided plaintiff with the confirmation he needed concerning the business partnership and the funding of the love album Mr. Combs has shared with plaintiff directly. Salute, Grumpy. I appreciate you for that two-piece. Salute, salute. It is also clear that many of the claims raised by the plaintiff in the second amended pleading are accurate as the events of March 25th, 2024 have revealed Mr. Combs' drug mule Brandon Paul was arrested in Miami, Florida for cocaine possession and uh, cocaine was on his carry-on luggage as the plaintiff stated in his amended pleading. Mr. Combs is being investigated for possible S trafficking as the plaintiff alleged uh, the thoroughly detailed with exhibits and examples in the pleading, the raid produced guns in both locations as plaintiff detailed in his pleadings. If the court requires a formal motion or letter motion so plaintiff can lay out how the amendment against the moving against the moving defendant would not be futile uh, nor filed in bad faith, we will gladly do so. The defendants were Sean Combs, general business partner as the term uh, is defined by the courts in the state of New York. A partnership is an association of two or more persons to carry on co-owners of a business for profit. Partnership Law 10-1. When there is a written partnership agreement between the parties, the court must determine whether the partnership existed from the conduct 
intention and relationship between the parties. And they give that no one characteristic uh, of business relationship in the finding of the existence of the partnership. In fact, factors to be considered by the courts include the sharing of profits and losses, the ownership and partnership assets, joint management and control, joint liability to creditors, the intention of the parties, compensation, the, uh, the contribution of capital and loans to the organization. Here, the defendants are desperately trying to rewrite history to distance themselves from Mr. Combs. By their own admission, they funded the creation of the Love album and partnered with him to establish Love Records. These are their words, not the plaintiffs. Aside from their public statements, their actions indicate a general business partnership. Uh, under New York state law, profit sharing is one of the two most important factors in determining the existence of a partnership, along with the control over the business. And then it says to determine whether the parties expressed uh, intent to partnership, the court may look at the writings and conduct whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop, and they just bring out the evidence. A detailed letter dated March 27, 2024, plaintiff determined that UMG and Motown Records had a general business partnership based on his conversations with Mr. Combs and that the public statements made by the defendants on their website and on their LinkedIn business pages. Uh, a relevant part, the defendant's website states the following, Diddy and Motown partner up. Diddy will be dropping his latest album on our later on, on our on our label later this summer. On top of that, we're helping establish his latest, most exciting venture yet, Love Records, on their LinkedIn page, which the court can access from the following link. Defendant UMG states the following, Love Records, and it says Handshake, Motown Records. Diddy new album will be the first release from Love Records in partnership with Motown. These quotes are not, these quotes are not one-offs. In the interest of time, plaintiff has decided not to, uh, whatever, the court with the newspaper and the magazine coverage that the partnership received, the plaintiffs amended the complaint, outlines the defendant's liability as a business partner. Defendants cannot have it both ways. You cannot profit off Mr. Combs at the expense of the victims like plaintiff, but when the federal investigators kick down your door, uh, you try to cut them, you try to cut and run and pretend that you only had limited involvement with Mr. Combs. The defendant's pearl clutch is breathtaking. Defendant knew for years that Mr. Combs had a propensity for violence. As detailed in the amended complaint, Mr. Combs assaulted their former executive, Steve Stout. According to former UMG executive Steve Stout, Combs and two men barged in his New York City office and attacked him with a champagne bottle. Mr. Combs was charged with second degree assault and criminal mischief. UMG knew, they said the UMG knew this and did not end their business partnership with him. In fact, they turned a blind eye and continued their business partnership for several years after the attack. If not for Cassie Ventura's November 16, 2023 lawsuit, UMG's history of running to Mr. Combs for partnership opportunities would have continued. Plaintiff stands by the claims raised in the first amended complaint. The plaintiff was clear when he said he witnessed Mr. Grange and Miss Haptimerium at Mr. Combs' homes and parties associated with the Love album, uh, album, of course. Plaintiff did not meet them and speak with them. That was not his statement. He said Mr. Combs identified them and used them to impress and, and entice plaintiff to engage in activities that the plaintiff did not want to. This was one of many tools plaintiff identified as grooming mechanisms implemented by Mr. Combs. Once defendants sent a plaintiff the letter denying <clears throat> ever being present at Mr. Combs' residence or parties associated with the Love album, plaintiff took them and their word and amended the pleading as he was required. As plaintiff stated throughout his pleadings, Mr. Combs drugged him through laced alcohol at these parties. Plaintiff has woken up next to several women not remembering what happened the night before. If Mr. Combs lied to the plaintiff concerning the identity of the attendees at his parties and the plaintiff later learned from those alleged attendees that they were misidentified, then the plaintiff has an obligation to correct the record, which is what he did. This does not remove UMG, Motown, or Lucian Grange's liability concerning their 
unheckled unheck uh funding for the love Al- love album and love records inc it does not matter what document they produce evidencing the terms of their relationship with mr combs it is important to thoroughly assess what is written versus what was done plaintiff strongly believes that the court will soon learn that the defendants are engaging in a game of smoke and mirrors we respectfully request to leave to amend so uh, plaintiff can file uh, his second amended complaint which will include some of the issues they wanted to be cured as well as the addition of cuba gooding jr as a defendant we thank the court for his time and attention to this matter respectfully submitted tyrone blackburn and it's getting real wicked it's getting real wicked in this damn diddy case y'all i'm gonna be real it's getting real damn wicked in this damn diddy case man that's some damn loose ass information <sighs> man shit who sent me zarenia white i appreciate you it says i don't think he's gonna make it either so i don't think that damn lawyer gonna make it about this and grumpy i appreciate that five piece you sent salute to both of y'all salute 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 i appreciate all the love and support man i appreciate all the love and support man so what do y'all think man with these lawyers going edit going tit for tat right now it's like both of the lawyers are starting to go tit for tat lucian grange wants off of the lawsuit they not letting up on lucian grange at all they saying not nah, you was there we saw you he spotted you out he called you out we saw you y'all know y'all trying to throw rocks and hide your hands see what y'all trying to do right now is y'all trying to make it look like no 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 we ain't got nothing to do with diddy right now man we just we was just there for the look we, we we didn't even do that with the love out we weren't even at no parties no nigga, y'all was there he like fuck that y'all was there so what y'all think about this do y'all feel like lucian grange is gonna go down as well uh, do y'all think this is the gonna shake up the whole music industry i got a funny feeling this is gonna shake up the music industry as we know it i'm gonna be honest with y'all man i'm gonna drop this link in case anybody want to call in and chop it up man i know somebody want to call and chop it up about this shit man we got we got a lot on the menu to talk about tonight with this diddy case man so if y'all want to hit the link it's a stream yard link you can hit that link put your username in your email that's how you call into the show it's not a number you got to hit that stream yard link if you want to chop it up and call into the show i will you know what I'm saying? if y'all if y'all trying to chop it up let me know gang let me know all right so i asked y'all a question earlier what will, i said well did he go down alone 58 percent of the room has said no the elite's time is up Y'all feel like the elite's time is up. So, damn. Okay, so I'm going to end that poll right there. A lot of people in the room feeling like the elites, you know, all the lies and all the bullshit, it's all over, man. They feeling like the, the elites are going to go down. So, I don't know, man. Y'all tell me. Let's read a few comments here. It says, yes, because Clive ain't going no place. Clive, how, how old is Clive Davis? Somebody tell me. Ain't he like 90? How old is Clive Davis? Man, he old as hell, man. I'm be real. Though. I don't think Clive Davis can make it much longer. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I, I, I don't see Clive Davis making it too much longer, man. He, he he getting old, man. Clive Davis, damn near 100 years old. They said they can't hide him forever. Technic technicality is key. Lawyer for lawyer. They said, uh, who is this kind of grumpy calling in? Salute, grumpy. What's good? Hey, salute, salute. What's happening? Neighborhood grumpy here. You know how it go. Salute, gang. Go ahead. <laughs> Man, listen, I, you know, I, I, I did a, a little something earlier where I, I don't think that people understand how the feds work. You know, um, the feds don't go if they don't know. Um, and when you talk about the rules of evidence and you talk about the rules of things now, Remember what I told you the first time when they went in them devices. Now all remember now I've been justified because I told you they was getting all them devices. Yeah. Remember I told you I said they was gonna get all those devices. They wasn't going in it. You can't get no human beings in no drawers or no safes. <laughs> they wasn't looking for no human beings. So people keep asking, like, well, why wasn't nobody arrested? And I listen, that's not how the feds work. <laughs> they want to get you dead to rights, man. That's just the way, that's the way that they work. They 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 gonna slow walk it. And 
I said on my Instagram, I said it's unfortunate that that's the way that the feds work because a lot of times crimes happen, people get hurt, you know, crimes continue to go on. And so it seems like they're not doing their job, but really they're just surveilling you, you know. Um, but you can expect probably within, you know, probably in a few months, maybe in a year or so. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take. The fans do what they want to do. But they going to get they going to get these guys, man. Cuz this this is not this is not just about Diddy. This is what people don't understand. Like people is making this about Diddy. Yes, it is about Diddy. But it's not just about Diddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. It's bigger than Diddy. It's way bigger than Diddy. It's it's this is a this is a conspiracy. You know, this is this is something way bigger than that, man. And even if they trying to protect the people that's above him, they gonna get the people that's below him, or or at the same, you know, tier, same level. You know what I'm saying? So that's what they're doing. See, what I, I remember back in about 1997, 1998, when I was a youngster, um, man, they came and got all the big homies, man. I'm talking about all over the country. I'm talking about from Texas to L.A. to North Carolina, all the big, and they, they got them all, all at the same time. All them niggas went in at the same time. They was watching those guys for like 10 to 15 years, you know? Now, if you look at those TMZ uh, pictures, man, nigga, they had them, uh, they had all them devices out there on, uh, on the picnic tables like spade cars, nigga. <laughs> yeah, thanks. They, they had a whole bunch of shit out there for them. <laughs> They wasn't looking for people. No. They gonna get the people later. They they gonna they, get they, the they, people they were later. Never, they were never going there to make an arrest. <laughs> they was they already knew they wasn't arresting nobody. And they, and they knew Diddy yeah. wasn't at home. That's why they got them flight records. They knew Diddy wasn't at home. Yes, and and here's the other thing that people don't understand. Like people keep saying, "Well, he was evading." No, nigga, you don't understand. If Homeland Security investigations is involved. That means the U.S. Marshals is, is involved. So the reason that, that they was able to catch up with him is because U.S. Marshals was involved. How do you think that they caught up with that dude? That dude was on the plane with them guys, man. They commandeered this dude's plane, man. Y'all don't understand. Like, see... This, for people who ain't never been caught up in the judicial system, you don't understand. They commandeer things. They do not move in unless they got you dead to rights, man. So if they got you dead to rights, he was on that plane with them guys, man. So when you remember when you showed me that flight path? Yeah. Okay. Now, that could have been one of two things. That could have been his actual plane or the one he sent out where the the white boy got caught up. Yeah. Okay. Either way, they had him dead the right. They knew where he was. They've been they've been surveilling this nigga <laughs> for probably for about the last year. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like they don't know where this nigga is at. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you're not finna escape nowhere. You're not going nowhere, nigga. And if any and if you are trying to go somewhere, you gonna commandeer your plane and you taking a ride with us. 
Big facts. Yeah, and you taking a ride with us, and you're going to take us to every location where we want to go with you. That's just the reality of the matter. Like, people got to understand. One thing I would suggest for people is to read the Constitution and read some of the laws, some of the U.S. Code, and realize how these people work. They are not going to come for you unless they got you dead to rights because they cannot they can't I mean they can but they should not uh, they should not violate your 8th amendment right, your 5th amendment right, your 4th amendment right your 3rd amendment right Like they can't do there's certain things that they just can't do you know what I'm saying so yeah. people is asking like, well, why did they, you know, come with all the military shit and all this, you know what I'm saying, all this? Nigga, why do you think? They have on um, information, like, nigga, you, you one of them guys, nigga. <laughs> like, so what you, you thought they was just going to come in there like, hey, uh, we have a warrant. Nigga, what the fuck is you talking about, bro? Like, this shit is serious. Because it's not just about Diddy. And this is where people is getting this whole Diddy story fucked up. You know? Yeah, that, that's where they getting it off. That's where they getting it fucked up. And I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a leave it right there and let you, you know, let you bring some more information out. Salute. I appreciate you, brother. Already, well, shit. Uh, no, nah, man. I mean, shit. This is, to be honest, this is a. Uh, I feel like this shit finna go higher up. I, I mean, I don't. I don't feel like Diddy gonna be the only one. I feel like this, somebody is big is gonna go down with him. Now that's the thing. I, I'm thinking, TD Jake, somebody along the lines of that. Somebody else is finna go down. Diddy is not gonna go down alone in this shit. He's gonna give up somebody. He ain't. They not gonna just let him take it by itself. And that's that's the thing. Who else is gonna go down with him? You know, Harv Pierre going down. You already know. Well, remember, go ahead, go ahead. Remember here, Harlem nigga. Remember here, Harlem nigga. And what do all Harlem niggas do? They all roll over. So the reason they ain't arrested him probably is because they're still gathering information, but they also probably bringing in bringing him into those investigation rooms. Because they want him to explain what these videos mean that they have acquired. Hmm. <laughs> and they also went in there to hide some shit too, though. They didn't go in there to make an arrest because they had to make sure they took all they people off of this. You got to think about this. They found out Diddy has private recordings of politicians, pastors, uh, you know what I'm saying, government officials. Police officers, royalty, 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 celebrities, all type. He he got Prince Andrew. Once Prince Andrew name or Prince, excuse me, Prince Harry name came up, and they went over there and got that shit. They went, hell no, you you got footage of him, man. You know if footage of him popped out right now, do you know how damaging that would be? Did he fucking up a well, lot? Well, you know, Harry, of Harry is not Harry and Harry and Megan is not necessarily in the good graces, but still, it's enough of the bloodline to basically. It's still enough of the bloodline to basically, you know, damage a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, Shug said something. Shug said something really poignant. He said, listen, your life is on the line right now, bro. He said, if you don't turn yourself in, your life is on the line. But I'm saying your life is on the line either way, whether you turn yourself in or whether you, you know, you know, whether you. <laughs> it ain't even about turning yourself in right now. It's a, it's a. Yeah. Matter. What the and and this is the kicker with the uh with those recordings, it's the miners. That's that's what they're looking for. Yes, they that's what they're looking for. 
Because see, they got to be able to determine this was a minor. When did it happen? What was this? You know what I'm saying? What was these minors doing here? You got this. Act. Okay, so then they're going to see if he got SX because you got to remember, did he got record? His stupid ass got video cameras in every room so that you you don't know if he had them in the bathroom or watching them while they, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what the hell he got in on all this footage. They got, might got years and years and years of footage on it. You don't know how much his cameras go back. So you just never know what they looking at. And this is going to take a lot yeah. of time to review all this. Well, you know, they, well, you know that the federal government still got the cloud. So a lot of them, they can access a lot of that stuff, even if physically, you know, he deleted things and, and all that. They have technology that goes back 50 to about 75 years where they can actually grab all this stuff. So, you know, this this is getting interesting, man, because, you know, one of the things. One of the things that I'm thinking about is and, you know, a lot of people in the background have been asking me questions because they like, well, why do you keep saying this and that? And the I said, because this ain't really about Diddy. You know, this is this is more about what either they're trying to protect people or they are trying to take them down. It's it, you know, it's one of those two, you know, and if they trying to take them down, they got the right one because he's a he's an idiot. He's a he's a, you know, a, a Mount Vernon idiot. Who. You seen him on the uh, video. I'm a savage. Whatever I want, I get all that bullshit. You know, all that shit he was on. You know, so he's, he, they're using that type of personality to get to, they may be trying to use that type of personality to get to these guys, or they might be trying to use that type of personality to make him the fall guy. I mean, we'll see how it all plays out. I don't know which one it's going to be. I'm interested. I got my popcorn out. I ain't going to lie about it. I got my popcorn out. Uh, but this is this is crazy. But th the other thing I want to see is who else they're going to make fall down in this process. He did. Whatever they saying he did, he did that shit. Ah, all right, thanks. All right, love you, man. All right. I got my MTV out. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! What did they say he did? Whatever they saying he did. One more time, y'all. He did that shit. All right, thanks. All right, love you, man. All right. I got my MTV out. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! Yeah, that man needs to be locked up. I'm gonna be honest. That man needs to be locked up. Yeah, and you and you gotta ask and you gotta ask yourself, you know, what mentalities and what higher ups above him taught him that mentality. You know, what is it that that was bred into him? that taught him that mentality because that's because that's what he was doing he was being a savage out there he was literally being a savage out there but there's many other savages out there that are that are riding under the you know under the radar that i think them cameras are gonna say a lot those laptops are gonna say a lot those uh you know, just a lot of the witnesses and see, and that's what a lot of people don't understand about the feds. They can use witnesses. Yeah, facts. <clears throat> and I think they that's what they're doing right now. They're getting people to switch on Diddy. They're getting some people in it. Just don't be surprised if some people that's on that, that uh, list of people don't switch and, and, and uh, become uh, part of the other side. I think some of Diddy people going to turn on him and give up information in order to get keep themselves free. Somebody in Diddy camp going to start giving up information. They're going to pressure somebody and be like, look, y'all facing a Rico enterprise. You better give us something. Because once them tapes come out, ain't nothing they're going to be able to do. Well, that's what the Fed do. All they do is plea deals. And, and so 
you know, when you dealing with them plea deals, you know, for Ethiopia, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Ethiopia, she didn't already, they didn't already, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, uh, I forget the, the, the attorney for, um, uh, uh, Lil Ron, but he, they didn't already ask for immunity for her so she could give it up. Mm -hmm. They already asked for immunity. So why is she asking for immunity? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What what do you need immunity for? <laughs> if y'all ain't did shit. You know what I'm saying? What you need immunity for if you ain't did shit? You know what I'm saying? So like this is getting real spooky. It's gonna be about a few months before you start seeing some charges and indictments and stuff like that. It may be a year or so. Who knows? You know, it could take it could take a while. You know, the federal government want to get you dead to rights. Yeah, they're not, they not trying to arrest him right now because it would be a premature arrest. They needed audio and video. Now that you got it, you don't know. Like I said, you don't know how long these recordings go back. You don't know what they're looking at. So this could be a lengthy process of determining a lot of factors. And like I said, that the minors, that's the reason why they swooped in like that. And him going across the country and across state lines with with, with minors. So they're treating this like, okay, now we got to see, is there some merit to this shit? Once they get those tapes, audio, video, text messages, they're going to be able to prove that these girls were younger, boys, whatever going on, and they're going to they gonna be able to charge him with, with minors. And that's going to be an upgraded charge. He's going to get R. Kelly. He about to get R. Kelly out the game. Uh, they call they call that they call that basically what they do with the indictment. They expand the indictment, and then what will happen is, is um, you know, like hey, listen, in that the paperwork that you read the other night, which was beautiful, you know what I'm saying. I I had to sit back a little bit just to watch it and process it, but I mean that not the indictment. I'm saying the uh the I know you're talking about. The pleading that uh yeah yeah the pleading paperwork the pleading paperwork that you that you read that man said I have recordings <laughs> this nigga said I got hundreds of hours of recordings now think about this you got a guy who according to this this pleading he's constantly drugged right so he don't know if a nigga is recording him or not, he has no idea. You don't know if somebody got their phone on watching you. You know what I'm saying? Cat Williams told you he used to be in the corner just watching you niggas. He told you. Like, he straight up told us that he, 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 he said, and they know it. You know what I'm saying? He said, they know it. <laughs> they know that I have recordings of these dudes because he'd be in the corner just recording these niggas. Well, how can you record somebody unless they out of their mind, you know what I'm saying? They not paying attention to nobody. They, you know, I've been in situations like that where, you know, you, you know, I was a rap, I was a young rapper way back in the day and doing stuff like that. And I wasn't really big on imbibing and, and doing all this stuff so i would just be sitting back watching these guys man i just be like man, y'all need weird and like you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> like y'all niggas weird like i just be in the corner just watching you know i have my little corona you know my little one corona for the night or two coronas or whatever you know and i'm I'm looking at these guys and I'm like, man, but they taking, they taking all type of whatever. And you looking at these guys and you, you looking at them, you like, man, y'all, it look like it's finna go to a weird place right now. You know what I'm saying? So Cat told you, he was like, man, they know that I got stuff. So if Cat is telling you that, how, I mean, what do you think them cameras, you know, remember I told you the last time we talked, them little devices that they had in their hand? Yeah. And how they was going for all their cameras. Now Fox News is reporting on it. CNN is reporting on it, that they got all that camera footage. That's facts. 
And they, and they okay. said they want, and and now, now they're shooting for telecommunications. That's what they said they're looking for next. Man, text me, man. Wait, wait till we see them text messages, nigga. Yo, that shit gonna be this. This is cuz oh neighbor, cuz that shit gonna be crazy, cuz like when we see how them niggas is, you know, commute communicating back and forth between mm-hmm. each other. What you think that little old skinny white boy gonna do? You think that little skinny white boy is good for the first 48, nigga? Man, he out of there. He finna pack his ass up. <laughs> <laughs> he he think, gonna definitely... We gonna call him Paul. Though. We gonna call him Paul. <laughs> but Paul, he, Paul gonna flip. They, he, they gonna, they probably, he, he probably not already flipped, to be real. Cause, cause the well, shit I, we don't, him, we like, don't know. They already got him with drugs at the airports. That's already bad enough. Fuck the conspiracy. That, that's already bad enough. Yeah, that's yeah. already bad enough. So I mean, they don't already... say conspiracy because the conspiracy says you're a drug mule. And now, and now that I see yeah. you, now that you just moved some shit across state lines, now it's looking like yeah. okay, you might you might really be a mule. So you you got to really, hey nigga, you better fold. Yeah, you, you better you, say something, you, nigga. You, 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 <laughs> can't <laughs> you can't go to trial. You can't go to trial. You better say you better say so this nigga went from uh playing at a high level at Syracuse to uh being uh 170 pounds uh with STDs uh moving around Miami, LA, and New York. Nigga, something's going on, nigga. You better tell us something. So yeah, so you so you gotta tell us something. Now, if you don't, it's okay. We always get you in the first 48. We always get you in the first 48. So, see, what we don't know right now, and this is what a lot of people don't understand about the feds, the feds are not going to move until they got you dead to rights. Now, a lot of people, they talk about the R. Kelly case and all that, and they say, oh, they did R. Kelly wrong and all that and shit like that. But most people didn't actually uh, read the court proceedings of all of the evidence because that see the feds don't the feds don't do the same thing that certain states do. So like in Georgia, New York, Texas, uh, certain places in L.A., they allow you to film the court proceedings. Yeah. Unless unless the judge, you know, uh, takes precedence and say, you know, well, we're not going to allow that or whatever. But in the feds, they do not allow you to um, film it. So. Um, so you have to have the resources and, and the knowledge to know how to go get the transcripts to see what was said. And what was done in court. And let me tell you something, man. If somebody got the resources to go get what they finna tell these people in court, man, y'all gonna be shot. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be shot. I, I'm gonna tell you who got the resources. I'm gonna have it. Right I already here. know you. I, I already know you gonna do it. Hey, I listen, big thug. Hey, listen, big thug. Livelihood grump salute you, man, because I know you always go out and get it. So they What's going to happen is, is that they what's going to happen. You're going to see a lot of pre motions. You're going to see like just like what you read earlier about how they did the amendments. They did the amendments wrong like two times. So now they're 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 trying to plead for the third time. They have a a 21 day rule uh, or safe harbor rule. It's called a safe harbor rule where you can amend your pleading. So. You know, they made a few little small mistakes in there or whatever, but they've asked for leave to get um, to get the the acts, you know, just the, the, the perfect pleading in there. But the judge knows the judge knows that is, you know, that's why the feds came in. That's why they got the warrant. The, no judge would give a no judge. 
would allow a warrant if they didn't have enough information or evidence to say, hey, y'all can go do this. Now, the judge did not allow for them to go in there and get people. He allowed for them to go and get things. And I'm pretty sure that if we can find the paperwork on that warrant, I still have, I don't know anybody that has found the paperwork on the warrant, but I'm pretty sure if we find that paperwork on that warrant, it ain't going to say nothing about no people. It's going to say things about, you know, electronics, firearms, drugs, Thanks. you know, you know, yeah. things like that. It ain't, you know. But yeah, yeah, I got you, brother. But yeah, Grumpy, man, I appreciate you for pulling up, brother. I do appreciate you, man. I appreciate all your insight on this shit, man. Salute to you, gang. I'm going to wrap this shit up here in a minute, man, but I appreciate you. For yeah, me up. too, man. Hey, listen, I appreciate you, man. Listen, hey, Grump out, neighborhood, neighborhood Grump out. Love y'all, man. Hey, mm-hmm. hey, man, listen, let me say something. Ratchet the realest, man. He researching, He he's he, like, as far as the bloggers out there, he researching the realest, man. He does his research. He do the real thing, man. Y'all keep following this dude. Get the likes up. Support him. Do the best y'all can to help that man out, man. He does the best, man. Salute, gang. Salute, salute. I appreciate you. Salute. Salute to Grumpy, y'all. Salute to Grumpy, man. I appreciate Grumpy. Grumpy, I'm not trying to end this shit, man. Hold on, thug. <laughs> Salute to Grumpy. Salute to T. Charles for that 20-piece. I appreciate you, man. But like I said, man, Diddy, it got your ass, brother. You about to go down. Y'all going to have to make some adjustments. Y'all going to have to figure out another strategy, Diddy, because <clears throat> the amount of evidence that's about to pile up when they get these telecommunication records for you, Oh, man, it's about to be a wrap, dog. Once they get these text messages from Diddy, once they get these text messages, it's a wrap. They said they better take them back to, yeah, yeah, y'all already know, man. Diddy up out of here, man. Diddy is finna, they finna pack his shit. He, he, he up out of here, dog. Y'all can cancel Christmas for Diddy. Now, I don't know, man. I don't know how long this takes, but give it, give it about two, three months. Give it about two to three months. You're going to start to see more evidence pile up. It's going to get quiet. It's going to get real quiet real fast. But then again, in like about two to three months, I say about June, July, you'll see something. Around June, July, you'll start to see some shit pick up in the Diddy case. It's going to be a hot, hot summer for Diddy. It's going to be a hot summer for Diddy. Man, man, man. It's about to be a real hot summer for Diddy. They said he needs to find. <laughs> hey man, you know he just passionate about it, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it's all, it's all love, man. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? They said this is like Epstein all over again. Help us. Facts is going down like the Epstein case, y'all. Man, so look, y'all, make sure y'all smash the like buttons. We will be back. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be up too long on this one. It's Friday night, man. Y'all go enjoy y'all Friday night. That's all I got for y'all tonight. Actually, I got more, but I just stopped right there. But hey. As always, you know, I love y'all more than y'all ever know. We finna play some music. Y'all go enjoy y'all uh, Friday night. We finna get the hell up off here. I love every one, each and every one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Tell me what y'all think about this damn Diddy case. More paperwork coming out. It's about to be some text messages coming out real soon. It's about to get real loose, y'all. Hey, you already know this your boy Big Ratchet. I'm up out of here. I love y'all, gang. Tone Bot, get the likes. Damn, drum start. I pop a 16 passenger. This is G5. I know this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats, they some cannibals. Eaters. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle, wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look, mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she's saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and then got a coat. I bet I come out with a me. I bet I. This shit for the fam. Cause this shit bigger than me. Yeah. Color stones in my infinity link. And in the factory, masterpiece. I call him twin, could that be my brother? We got the same roller, he matching me. Nah, for real. Water on me, like the sun of sun, carry some pointers. All these commas, I won't fun from me. Go gunners out the jungle. We got it all, fuck a front of nigga. Cake on me, no fun of cash. Drop top, feeling like stunner. Drop top, can't be play no runner. We gon' chrome my wallet, Ooh. smoke my pilot. Ooh. Take the revive to the trappers. Trap it, nigga, one shit. shit. I was outside just serving narcotics. Narcotics, Woo. payment that stick. Nigga made one wrong move, just poppy. Poppy,
Living on broke with the whole flooded out in the hotel lobby. It's crowded. Diamonds be dancing like Bobby. They dance. Don't touch it, dick like you get cocky. Don't touch it. Show them and GC the party. We geek. Bitches gon' trend on the top. He trend. The way I pull up, I'ma pop it and none of these niggas gon' stop me. Pull up. Gone. Put this shit on, get a cup for the drip on my motherfucking five. Keep low. Keep stacking your bank, I'll get bigger. Never will. I throw some shade on no nigga. On team. Little nigga, don't play with these niggas. I see the big picture. We up on these niggas. The huncho, the one you gon' call on me, nigga. I got your back, you gon' follow me, nigga. When I get up, we gon' ball on these niggas. Fuckin' shit up, cause we beat out the system. Fuck the system. I bought for 16 passenger. This a G5, no, this not a challenger. Pick one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. Get coat seats, they some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek, geek. Drink a whole bottle, wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look, mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and then got a coat. I bet I come out with a me. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Put this shit bigger than me. Three. Color stones in my infinity link. And in the factory, masterpiece. I call on twin, could that be my brother? We got the same roller, he matching me. Ladies and gentlemen, live in this motherfucker. Sit back and vibe. That's another DJ Bentley exclusive. And you know how we do it on the west side. Wow. You know, bitch. You gonna hit your ass up. <laughs> I shall I please forever thugging on a quest to get G's running from enemies ever since the days of a sea. I'm under pressure, the stress I had me drinking, thinking niggas after me. Much too paranoid to blink, wonder why the police don't want to see me stacking G's. They have to replay it, but I won't let them capture me. I gotta thank the Lord for the weed and the nicotine. I can't sleep, close my eyes and see wicked things. I keep my pistol by my bedside. One in the chamber, preoccupied with homicide. My life's in danger, rolling down the 45. Beware strangers, hand on my 45. That's what the thing does. I'm probably wrong, but I'll never know it till I'm gone. From out the gutter where the jealous motherfuckers wrong. Pass the weed, let that Hennessy get to me. Before the penitentiary, let's get it on. Like the cop back, niggas better duck down. Duck down, duck down, duck down. Yeah, niggas. Fuck the police. Can't fuck with us. Fuck with us. Rep represent Bucktown. Like the leather cop back, niggas better duck down. Yeah. Duck down, duck down. Niggas. Why? Pass the weed, let that Hennessy get to me. Before the penitentiary. Let's get it on. Niggas know who's the mind blower, the weed grower. Have you seen doubles like Noah, the rob flower, B I G. Top notch with uh, the clock, check your pockets uh, and your sockets. Yeah. Just the way my pops caught me when I throw the drop, check them thoroughly. The bastard might spin around and try to bury me, and dead men don't make no moves. While I'm swinging in the hood, I don't think no moves, alright? Reminiscing on my swinger days when I drove a caddy and my bitch sported finger waves. Yeah, she had the Gucci boots. I had the Gucci suits. Oshkosh, but gosh, Coca Cola looking real cute. Junior Mafia representing Bucktown. Mac 11 cock back, nigga said duck down. Face down, I know the routine, the dream, earrings, you know the drama Biggie brings. Let's get it on. Mac 11 cock back, nigga said duck down. Yeah, nigga. Fuck the police. Can't fuck with us.